Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I'm in Shreveport, Louisiana. And today I'm going to take a river cruise up and down the Red River through the city. And the tour captain, the boat captain, is going to give us some information about Shreveport and things we see along the way. So climb aboard the boat with me. We'll take a little trip. You stay on it long enough. It'll take every dime you've got. What is that, Winnebago? Yes, it is. Yeah, good one. I actually hit it and what missed it. They had so many collisions on this bridge, they closed the river to traffic in 1939 and didn't open it back up until 1984. And by that time, the steamboat era was done. And I'll tell you more about this bridge when we come back down the river. Tonight, you're in for a treat. They're going to have a concert here tonight, free concert. And it's going to be open to the public. I think it starts around 7 or 8 o'clock tonight. But you can come out here at Riverview Park and hang out all day and all night. It's open to the public 24 hours a day. Uh, tropical forest. The uh, air conditioning died. The plants died. And they shut it down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they're trying. They, they said they lost another crab last night. On the right hand side is the boardwalk. The boardwalk has over 60 stores, over 20 restaurants. They have everything from fine food to fast food, from fine clothing to five and ten cent stores. Huh. What's with that material hanging on the bridge? That's their sandblast in this bridge. This is the Texas Street Bridge, also called the Neon Bridge, also called Highway 80. At one point in time, this was the longest and straightest stretch of highway across the United States. It stretched from Savannah, Georgia to California, 2,477 miles long. Today it stretches from Savannah, Georgia to Dallas, Texas, a little over 1,000 miles long. Now here on the left hand side is the El Dorado Casino. The El Dorado Casino was originally uh, Hollywood Dream. They went bankrupt after the first two years of operation. And the next casino was Samstown Casino. Samstown Casino was originally Harris Casino. It was the first casino in Shreveport. They came here in 1994. Yeah. So when the water gets up, it gets up to 22 and a half feet and the boat starts coming up with the water. Okay, yeah, you're going to go down there Red River South? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. And all that caved in last month. Oh, there's a campground right there. Yeah, that's a good one. Park right now. <laughs> the old boy moved in here about a month and a half ago. This bridge here is called an A-frame bridge or an A-waddle bridge. There's only two of them in existence in the United States today. This one and one in Wisconsin. This particular bridge was for local rail traffic. And today, the only people that use it are teenagers. They use it as a, as a diving platform. They dive off of it. What are the beads for? Huh? What are your beads for? I usually give them to guests, but I ran out. The fish is pretty good in here. They, they catch a lot of fish out of here. <coughs> I don't think they catch any tremendous sized fish, but they catch some nice fish. Is this a lighthouse? No, this is an old Confederate Navy shipyard. I'll tell you about that in a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is this a junkyard over here on the right? No, that's his fish camp. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a junkyard. <laughs> they took everything out of the refrigerator and a television. Uh, the, the, the white boat up here on the right, the one that says they do come true. This old boy bought him a lawnmower and started cutting grass, and he bought him a yacht. And that's what he does today. He cuts grass for a living. Yeah, I that. He, cut, he, bought, he bought that boat cutting grass. You got some river cruise competition here? No, that's my boat. I leased that boat to Duck <laughs> Dynasty, and uh, they had it for four years, didn't pay for it, so I had to go repo it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Those guys are multimillionaires. I know. And I had to go get my boat back. I went through heck to get that boat back. Is uh, stop the water from blowing the bank out from high water. 
The reason each one of them wrapped in tin to keep them dry. As long as they stay dry, they won't rot from the top down. Is that a storm drain over here? That's the city drain, the drain, sewer drain from the city. It's not the sewer drain, but it's going to have rainwater in the city. They might have a buffered line somewhere, water coming from somewhere. Yeah, storm drain. There's no paint on that roller. There's no paint on it. On the right hand side, this is the McNeil Waterworks Museum I was telling you about. Also, that's where we get our water from for the city of Shreveport. If they have table games. Well, if they don't have table games, they can do anything they want. They can be anywhere they want. They can be in your front door. But if they got table games, it has to be on water. It has to be floating. They have to have propulsion. They have to have engines. And they have to be able to get underway. And it leaks. I mean, it, it, it leaks everywhere. Casino on the left was originally built for a company out in New Orleans. They went bankrupt before they finished their property. They tied the boat up in the marsh and left it there for three years. Jack Binion found it and bought it to only bring it to Shreveport. The well, buying it was the easy part. Getting in there was the hard part. She's 300 feet long, 116 feet wide. The locks on this waterway are only 84 feet wide. So they had to cut her in half to get her up here. They brought her up in two pieces. Once they got her in here, it took a year to reconstruct it. And today it makes more money than any casino in the state. Her average monthly income, $25, $35 million a month. The population of Bossier City is around 84,000 people, and the population of Shreveport is around 200,000 people. Well, that was interesting to learn more about Shreveport. Hope you did too. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Good day, folks.